like uh, some of the memories I remember very good when my uh, brother and I were on the cabin back home in Oslo and we uh, yeah starting to dig jumps and uh, alpine tracks and yeah we'll make uh, Olympic disciplines uh, in the backyard so uh, yeah that was maybe some more strong memories I have from the the cabin and also starting with the winter sport. I remember also my first time my father brought me to the ski jumping hill in Fossum. Uh, yeah, it was special. I small guy, big skis and everything, and it was yeah putting me in the middle of the hill and I was trying. So yeah, I got I got uh, what he called uh, the hype then. <laughs> I had a very high um, competition instinct uh, when I was young. I, I didn't like to train, but when uh, my mother and father put uh, cross-country skis uh, on me, I was uh, going as hell. <laughs> so, uh, so the, yeah, that was maybe the, the main reason that I uh, picked Nordic Combined, because I was feeling confidence in the both disciplines. I have test ski jumping, just ski jumping, and when I'm doing that, I feel a little bit like unfinished. When you are finished with jump, you are like, okay, should I do something more? To get exhausted uh, about uh, the, the cross-country part is, yeah, it's something that uh, drives you. The pain is good. <laughs> You have new challenge every day, so I thought maybe it's going to be easier to like be on the top. But uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, it's just fun to just keep on working and trying the best every weekend. I think it's maybe a little bit bad that I, I'm making it more interesting for people to see. But anyway, I think I'm also showing how perfect a combined competition can be. Uh, you have the ski jumping part and you have the cross jumping part and you have to like be the best in the both things and yeah hopefully i can show that to the world that uh, that can also be exciting